Well, alrighty then, we got ourselves two inverted roller coasters. One called Psycho Vulture and one called Leafwing. Because while I was looking at pictures of Zy Psycho Vultures to get some idea of what the color could be, I uh, stumbled upon the Leafwing. Those were the uh, things that attacked the party on Kong Skull Island when they were in the boneyard and the thick uh, sulfuric mist. That's where those birds attacked and then uh, Tom Hiddleston took out his katana that he got from Gunpei or whatever and then sliced him in half. And the leaf wings and psycho vultures were the ones that were uh, uh, perched on that tree which made it look like a bunch of leaves on a big tree but then when they shot into the air, shot something, all the psycho vultures got scared and flew off the tree and uh, and uh, and then uh, you noticed that there weren't actually any leaves on the tree, it was totally barren. They were just looking like leaves, a bunch of psycho vultures. But anyway, now we got two uh, coasters, uh, quite intense and nauseating on both, but these, this type of coaster always is. But the most important thing is we are under uh, under 10 intensity with uh, 4 inversions on both. 14 and 13 drops, 37 drop height, 104 max speed, 38 and 37 average. Right time is 1 second apart. Uh, leaf wing is like 100 or 90 or whatever, 80 meters longer. Vertical G's are the same on the positive, but on the negative leaf wing has a little bit more. And then Psycho Watcher's uh, lateral G's are slightly higher, but then the leaf wing has two seconds more air time. And they turn out quite big and quite challenging to build, especially this beginning part here. Because for some reason I had the bright idea of putting the stations up there and have them facing opposite directions, but still synchronize with adjacent stations. Uh, before we go on to the on ride, let's have a look at the track design. You can see it better in this view. Oh, and, uh, I can also see miscolorings over here. Let's have a look at it again. Any other, any other miscolorings around? Nope, looks good. So there's the station, then we have the lift hill up here and it turns this way. Big drop into the photo, then a half loop and a corkscrew and a bunch of helixes. And a uh, curved drop this way into the, up into the first block break. Then it hits down this way. Big drop, but not uh, fully uh, 62 degrees. It turns into, what is this, 30 degree drop here. And then big 60 degree hill up here and back that away following the contours of the land there and turning this way back into the pirate area another uh, 30 degree drop into another another um, oh, we've got a half, large half loop corkscrew combo then a bunch of helixes upwards and then this way underneath Kong here you can see it in this view of course and then into a second block break and back into this area here where we have have another uh, big drop there, another half uh, loop and corkscrew combo into another one, and then up this way, and finally through some elixirs into the station. And then the other one follows almost the same path. Let's first check for miscarriages. Nope, looks good. Except it goes this way, while well, the other one went that way. He has the same uh, same design there, except this guy has one piece there. Mm, but then did I do something to offset that time? I can't remember. But I had some issues with uh, getting the pathways to fit, so I had to move the stations around. Do -do 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 -do. Then it does the same half loop and corkscrew thing here in the helixes, but here it differs a little bit. That one had a curved drop, while well, this one has a straight drop, two of them actually, into the first block break. Then it has identical design here, bigger curve there, otherwise identical. And these uh, helixes go 
down, and yeah, those, these two go down, that one is flat, while the other one was going up. And then it has a pair of helixes here, while the other one went this way. And then underneath Kong there, into the second block break, then uh, once again identical design with the other one. Over here, except a little bit different there, shorter distance there. And it has this uh, helix down there, and uh, more curvy, or 60 degree drops with curves in them. And then this way, curvy drops, helixes, helixes, and back to the station. Do, 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 do. Let's see if we got two trains departing and going to depart the station. Don't really want to keep these as big screens because then they'll lower the uh, lower the frame right here so let's keep them small and you can see the speed and the trains themselves will be also visible on the main display here and then we get stop there for a moment with the block breaks all these guys pass there, so over there although now the timing is off because this guy stopped and the other one Went forward, damn it. Uh, it's probably because there was a breakdown with one of them or something. Hmm. I wonder, could I take. No, I can't take that uh, lift hill out. It's necessary. This one up here, down here, I can't push it all the way up. Hmm. So now the time is probably gonna be off unless I like stop both of them or something. I guess we'll have to stop him. Step right there, criminal scum. You violated my mother. There we go. Now they should be leaving at the same time and going through all the block breaks nicely. There we go. Those guys left at the same time. Let's see if we're here with these. And then the first trains can continue their journey. Do, 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 do. So this guy's a little bit late here. Oh, actually, I, I should change that and put the straight piece down there, if possible. Yes, we need perfection with the timing, so let's change that. Let's hope it fits. Just try that, and then we'll go down here already. Please fit? Nope, it doesn't fit. Mm. Mm, but is there any way to get it like that? Can I move this station? Uh, I mean, this station that way? No, yeah, that's why I, I couldn't fit this here otherwise. So I had to move the station that way. And if I move this station that way, it won't clear the uh, timber terror coaster there, damn it. Uh, I'm too lazy to rebuild, so let's load a save one month ago. There we go. But I still have to stop these things to get the timing right. What? Not a. Huh? I thought I loaded a save where it was complete. Say what? Or did I accidentally delete a piece? I must have clicked on T or something to delete it. And then, oh, that was the psychology one. This is the leaf wing. Stop it and retest. Or we can actually open them already. Well, let's see one uh, one circulation on both before I open them. I ah, keep opening the same one. There we go. Train one, train one, activate. Do -do 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 -do. to each other. Wait a minute, oh, I have the wrong train on this one. Why? How, how is it already up there, didn't I? I must have not clicked on this twice to reset it. There we go. Another reset. There's a little miscoloring here. I got the wrong one selected. This is the one that I want. Mm -hmm. 
Let's pop up the music for this epic ride. They meet right there in the cork screws. Oh yeah, that's why I left that piece so that the other train can uh, can uh, gain up here. Otherwise, it would have been the timing would have been off. The next guys are here, passing the block breaks. Down this way, Wee, big drops, tight turns. Do, 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 do. Back into the pirate section. The orange one is a little bit behind. Then they meet nicely here twice. Do, 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 do. But then the yellow one could be a little bit behind here. And actually, no, it's not. It looks perfect. Yes, sir. Excellent. And then more identical sections here. That's where the yellow one goes ahead a little bit. Nothing too bad. And the other trains uh, arrive nicely as well there. And then they differ here, go on their own pathways, but then they meet on this helix. Their helix is here nicely. You can almost touch each other's feet. Although your foot might <laughs> get badly injured if you would touch there. Got some little miscoloring somewhere there in your... This must have been before I fixed some of the miscoloring this save here. But anyway, now we must set a price. I'm interested to see how much people will pay. Usually it goes by like one of these ratings. Maybe the highest one or the lowest one. Let's try 9.6. Will people pay that much after having to have paid like 98 zeros to get into this park? And I'm already down to 200,000 euros. But once it goes to negative, I'll just use the cheats to get rid of money altogether or give myself a billion dollars or whatever. Maybe the First option is better because then I won't have to adjust all these prices when people start complaining about them being too damn expensive. I guess we'll put 980 on this one. Or actually 960 would be the lowest. Oh yeah, and this one would be 950. Let's open them at the same time. Grand opening. Come on down, and then we watch the people flock in. Do, 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 do. Wait a minute, there we go. Come on in, peeps. Do, 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 do. Let's speed it up a little bit. You can see them start to go in there. Do, 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 do. Oh, are they? Nope, they're not going there. Not liking the price, damn it. I'm not paying that much. I'm not going on leaf wing while it's raining. Oh, yeah. I forgot I disabled the weather effects of the stupid rain and uh, lightning wouldn't darken my screen. But it still counts for uh, people not wanting to go on a ride. So let's go to the cheats and refreeze the weather into sunny. Because I don't always have to refreeze freeze it if I load a game or, or quit the game. Are they liking it now? I'm not paying that much, goddammit. It used to be that you could go with the excitement or at least the lowest of the three, but maybe it's changed. Uh, maybe it's different in uh, OpenRCT2 compared to the original. And that would explain why I could only get the people to pay like five for these, and it's like now they might be complaining yeah they're not going in so fuck it let's just disable money altogether because i'm already cheated enough anyway no money no money's for you so now this should be yep it's gone and i can't even open finances anymore excellent now we shall see them flock in 
Come on, it's free, you cheap bastards. Get in there. Let's uh, open them up and see how many people are queuing for. There we go. Two people and one person. And that means some people must be on it. Yeah, we got six in there, too. Calm down. Why aren't they flocking in like they did with the uh, the uh, Drogon and Vistirion? How are they doing over here? You know, we got people going in there. It could be that these are just too uh, nauseating for most people. After all, the other one goes over 10. 10.21 and 9.81. Just looking at Psycho Vulture makes me feel sick. Maybe I should cheat uh, that out of here as well. Mm, there's something about preferring more intense rides. Where the hell was it? Mm -hmm. Certainly not under money because I've disabled it. Here I can just give them happiness and whatever. Oh, here it is. More than one, less than 15. Mm, let's do less than 15. That way they also go into the gentle rides that are under one. I could also disable littering and vandalism altogether. Luckily for that, we have this new view here, Highlight Path Issues, that's very useful, it highlights all the paths and the broken uh, things on them, as well as the handyman and the pukes and the litters, etc. Very useful for repairing stuff. Come on in, people. You still can't be complaining about these things being too uh, in or too nauseating. I guess they're now complaining that they can't find them because they're all the way up here. Oh yeah, speaking of all the way up here, I had to raise some of the land down there. Whoops, let's go into the cutaway view to see it. And this portion is now fully in a tunnel. And I added some more water and uh, Waterfalls there to sit it. it. Looks like it's a little bit uh, uneven down there. Do -do -do. Let's make it the same height, like so. I could make it actually fully waterized now, and then have some some waterfalls on this side as well. Oh shit! I forgot. I'm, I'm lowering the stuff up here as well. Damn it! What did I lower or did I lower anything? Didn't give me any error message though. Do, 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 do. Did I lower those? I don't think so. Now let's go back down here and make this smaller. I guess I have to do it one by one. Do, 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 do. Few more to go. Do, do, do. There we go, then let's make uh, these like that, nice and flat, then we add, just add water. There we go, these two as well, and then some waterfalls. Wait a minute, I was looking at the wrong... These aren't part of the thing. Oh, jeez. Yeah, they're their own thing. Let's get rid of them. Put them back the way they were. There you go. But then I'm gonna get the uh, waterfalls down there. There you go. <laughs> It'll have to be like that above the... Uh, about the tunnel entrance, of course, I could use cheats to disable clearance, but maybe not. I'll do that for another park someday and add some 
Waterfalls here. Go, 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 go. Can't see it at all, but it's there. Psycho Vulture was great. Do we have all the peeps queuing in now? No. Why aren't they flocking into it like they did with the other ones? I guess they have to I have to wait for the uh, popularity to go up. Yeah, this one's only... Oh, it just jumped to 84. It was 60. This one's up to 96. I've almost forgot to mention the coloring of these coasters. Where did it come from? Where did it go? Got no Joe. <laughs> anyway, the um, track colors are basically just to match the uh, jungle backgrounds, so green and uh, brown stuff, but then the trains themselves, the yellow comes from the uh, yellow part on the leaf wing's uh, face and beak, and then the orange comes from a butterfly that was also featured when uh, not in the movie but when i search for leafwing in a google image search it comes up with this butterfly that is mostly orange so i chose that for the leafwing one here on the other hand the uh, psycho vulture only pictures that i found of those were from the comic they were uh, like just basic brown and gray so i didn't want to use those for the trains instead i opted for the Orange on the lower world butterfly and the yellow on the beak of the uh, leaf wings. Although that makes me think, should I change the uh, names of these? Nah, let's keep it like they are. And another thing that I forgot to mention that happened while building this coaster of coasters, which I probably will cut out, is that the uh, Game of Thrones rides over here kept crashing constantly so what I did is uh, went through it modified it and added uh, lift hills on each of the upper uphill <laughs> parts so that the trains can never get stuck on the wait a minute am I missing one from here oh no it's going this way and yeah, there's a lift hill cable thingy right there so now they got it on all the uphill parts but the, then that doesn't stop it from crashing here at the station if there's a uh, brake failure and then they might crash into the other trains on the station but for that I've uh, added a maximum wait time of 15 seconds so there's rarely any trains on the station the last one is usually left by the time the next one comes along let's see can it leave before this one comes although now it's hard to judge if the brakes were failing uh, how uh, fast would it go and when would it catch up here no Maybe it'll just leave before the before the other one arrives. Although when there's a brake failure, then they won't leave. So <laughs> it's probably unavoidable that freaking crash. Mm. Well, let's leave it as it is and move on to the next thing.